For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Michelle Wargo. Drivers beware, Claremont is now sighting red light runners. The city has 24 red light cameras at 13 intersections along State Road 50 and US 27. And as of last Friday, tickets of $158 were being sent out in the mail to violators. Support is streaming in for Vic's Embers Supper Club after a fire broke out just before New Year's. To help the nearly 40 misplaced employees, Brooker's Bait and Tackle has scheduled a fish fry on January 17th from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Leesburg Boat Club. Outback Steakhouse and Wolfie's restaurants have also offered to take on the employees until Vic's reopens. Lake County property appraiser Carrie Baker is making it easy for new homeowners to save on their property taxes with a user-friendly online tool. Florida's homestead exemption can reduce the assessed value of your homestead property by up to $50,000, resulting in savings of approximately $790 annually. For more information, visit this website. Join us for the Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade at 11 o'clock in downtown Leesburg. The fun features floats, cars, motorcycles, bands, steppers, twirlers, and much more. Also, Lake Sumter State College has plenty of events ready to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And here's one, the MLK 5K Run for Your Dream. The race takes place on the 18th and will feature a kiddie run, prizes, certificates, and t-shirts. A full schedule of all the events is available at LakeSumterTV.com. For more information on these stories, visit DailyCommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News and 90 on LSTV. I'm Michelle Wargo.